Tipina Hama was to have opened for international stars Bone Thugs and Harmony on Friday night, but when they failed to turn up, it was Tipina who became the real star, calming the angry crowd and showing that homegrown is often best. They told us they're gonna refund us, not now, but next time. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, we last week on yeah, national television. This isn't the kind of big nights Tipin Hama had in mind when he signed up to open for American hip hop legends Bone Thugs and Harmony. Don't, don't say anything about what I just told you, just say they just missed their flight. Oh no, straight up. Straight up. But you take strife in your stride when you come from Flaxmere, and Tipene gave the crowd something to cheer about. It's a world away from the Hastings freezing works where Tipene Hama draws inspiration for his music. And when people say chase your dreams, it's like it's running away from me. It almost sounds like it's um, something that's ungraspable, you know. But you know, when when I'm actually living it. Now let me take you back where this brother started out. I just a chapter of my life I wrote a song about. Raised in Flaxmere, Tipin Ehama rose to fame with the song West Side Hori. It came in on the top 10 of the charts, followed by a remix with Young Sid from South Auckland and Sir T from the North Shore. I spoke about mainly like um, trying to show the kids from my neighbourhood that they can actually, you know, start doing music or do sports and, or, and chase it and actually go places with it, you know. I was raised on the west side of I'm in the hood of reminisce on how we were The west side, Hori, basically when I break it down, it's pretty much the story how music kind of saved me, um, you know, from doing heaps of silly stuff, really. You know, uh, there's a lot of negativity around where I grew up, um, you know, you talk about gangs and, you know, family, violence, abuse, stuff like that. Music kind of helped me just to not worry about it, you know. And when I started writing my own stuff, um, it helped me vent it a bit better. I like It was almost like a, a, my friend, you know. It was my friend. And then it sort of progressed into, um, you know, putting a lot of my own whakaro on it and my own truths and a lot of home truths. And um, even with my dad and my mum and stuff, a lot of people think, oh man, don't your mum and dad get offended when you say things like, oh, she got kicked out of the house and stuff like that. So Westside Hawaii is the western suburbs, is, is what Flexme is known as. And uh, growing up in a place like Flexme, uh, this, you know, uh, can really relate to any kind of hood. You know, there's a, there's a hood in every neighbourhood, put it that way. Working with kids and giving back to his community is something Tipene loves to do. Yeah, um... The West Side Hori, Hori song that you fellas know, um, I actually played it first to my dad. I guess I'm, I'm trying to, um, you know, give that to the kids because, you know, um, you know we're Hawke's Bay too, but we've got a high suicide suicide rate. Uh, young people, um, you know, and that could be, you know, the way I see it, there could be something that saves them maybe, you know. Um, I think about it like that. Tipene credits earlier Māori pioneers for giving him the inspiration for keeping it New Zealand styles. Um, yeah, DLT. He's been someone I've looked up to for a while. Uh, he's he's responsible for for um, for the song Chains, that was number one for like uh, a ridiculous amount of time, bro. Old title, and it's still my eyes, untouchable that song. When I rocked up to Auckland, I, I just pretty much rolled up on him, started rapping, and you know, and um, played on my CD, and I think I'm in. You know, I should be in, bro. Should love this. He, he saw the passion in me, but he also saw the, um, should I say, greenness in me as well. And he almost jokingly told me, bro, you might need to go over to the Bronx and um, over to New York and suss it out and have a look for yourself, what it's all about. And I was like, oh, true. Oh, it was a bit harsh. <laughs> but harsh, but um, so I did. Um, I saved up all my, my bucks and went over there. TPN spent three weeks in America and realised how different a place it was compared to New Zealand. He knew then that the content of their music wasn't for him and he had to forge his own path. It's been about three weeks over there and um, not to do music or anything like that, just to soak up the atmosphere and the environment and uh, a lot of the gangster stuff I couldn't really relate to. I like the sound of it, no doubt, you know, the West Coast stuff, the East Coast stuff and it was wicked. But um, I didn't understand how someone could, you know, put down woman like that, you know. I said, man, I'd never do that on the track. Um, but when I went over there and I saw how they lived, um, I understood a bit, a bit more about their culture. Uh, and it is pretty much like that, bro. There's, there's crack fiends everywhere. There's, there's poverty right over the fence from paradise. It just enhanced me and I come home and I wrote a song called um, Hati Kahungunu, 
um, which is basically you know a tribute to my UI and um, everything about it you know being here and being part of our UI uh, makes me proud. Bone Thugs and Harmony may have let the crowd down but Tipene gained more respect and hopefully sales for his debut album Totoko.